Hello. Nigel Farage has gone from rebel to capitulator. That's right. You have, Nigel. In the eyes of the public a week ago, you were a rebel taken on Corbyn's bullshit Trotsky Labour and Boris, I nearly said Karloff then, Boris Johnson's reactionary right. You were seen as the man taking them all on. The people's choice. Man of the people. Speak enough for those uh, who'd lost faith in both the reactionary Tories and bullshit Trotsky uh, Corbyn's Labour. You were seen as the man standing up for the decent average working man and woman. You were taking them all on, then you capitulated. And Adam Banks wants you to capitulate even further by standing down another 150 Brexit Party candidates, is it? You see, Nigel, listen, listen. The check to derail Brexit is probably an open check. It's probably an open check. Money is not a problem, right? So look at Jared Batten. How long had you known him? Well, exactly. But I won't go into that. What I'm saying is that you were a man of the people. Then you capitulated. You stood down 317 Brexit Party candidates. But like I've said, I won't comment on that until after the general election. And Adam Banks wants you to stand down even more. Now, look at the screenshots of the front. Adam Banks is patronising you to death. He's pandering to your ego. You know, Nigel, the big high flyer at the casino table. Two dolly beards next to him. Hello, Nigel's the name. He's pandering to your ego, Nigel. Do not stand down any more candidates. You've already made a big mistake, if you ask me, but... I'm not going to comment on that until after the general election, but come on, Nigel. Stevie Wonder would see through Adam Banks. Okay, thank you.